You see, I, you see, I, I have encountered people who tell me that they have a business adapting various free software for clients. And I've run into people like that dozens of times. I gather that there are more. Of course, I don't know them all. In Brazil and Extremadura, we see something different, which is that a government whose mission, after all, is to represent and serve the interests of citizens of a certain area is doing so by funding work on free software. And this is perfectly legitimate. A large fraction of all the software development in the world is funded by governments anyway. So there's no reason that they can't make it free software. Free software is developed in a kind of democratic process where it's under the control of the users. Individual users can take control of their own copies when they want. And meanwhile, in society generally, the users generally are exercising control of what, of what is developed, of how the software develops. And this benefits all users. Many users, many users of writing don't write articles for publication. In fact, most of them don't. So you might ask, why should I care about freedom of the press if I personally am not going to try to write articles for publication? But in fact, all of society benefits from the fact that a wide variety of people are free to write and publish articles. Not only the people who write them, but those who can read them and those who get the benefit of exposure to different ideas that benefit from freedom of the press. And in the same way, all users of computers benefit from the fact that the software is under the control of users generally. So free software is essential to computer using society in generally. It's not just of benefit to the individuals that choose to make the changes.